We're going to do a uh, installation of PTO Rising Sun on a Windows XP 32-bit operating system. Uh, this is a default install and so we'll proceed with that now. Uh, the first thing as always when you do an add-on you have to have a stock copy of CFS3 in your main game directory um, non-modified uh, which I have here. Uh, so we'll start the install. Uh, there's seven zips that we're going to be uh, installing and then there's a useful installer at the end of that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start with uh, installer 1 and we'll double click on that, click run and this will just take a second to unzip. Okay, so we're ready to install. We'll uh, follow this here. Now one thing that's important, um, at some point at the end of number seven there's going to be some desktop icons on your desktop. It's important that you do not run the game from them uh, until we're finished the install and that'll be explained a little bit later on. So we'll just continue. Uh, we have a default install path. We'll click next and start. And this will just take a second. Okay, so we're ready to go. Uh, we have a press any key to continue, so we'll do that. And another one. So we'll press any key, so that part of it's done. And I'll click exit. And next to the install, same kind of prompts as before. Uh, now we have the PTO Rising Sun, that's where we want to install it, so we'll click next and start. Now it's going to take a few minutes to do so we'll touch base when it's complete. Okay so the install is complete. We'll click exit and I'm going to go to our number second zip here and we'll run that. Next, and basically at this point, one through seven is pretty much the same procedure. You just want to follow, de follow default all the way through, and we'll click start here. Uh, at this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and do all seven zips, and when I'm completed the seventh one, um, we'll pop back in. So um, just install one through seven like this, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I've gone and extracted and installed. Uh, one through seven, you see here that I'm finished uh, part seven of seven. Uh, each and every one of them is exactly the same. There's a couple of next prompts and a start. So you just do that until you get to the end. Uh, now, this is where uh, we need to make some adjustments here. So I'll just uh, click exit. And it's asking me if I want to run the multi. I say yes. And what we need to do here is um, we actually need to back this out and then retype exactly the same thing back in again. So it's CFS3 capital PTO rising sun CFS3 PTO rising sun and click accept uh, it's important that you retype this rather than just clicking accept on that default that one that was in there um, it, it needs to recreate the the statement there so we'll just click accept and that's complete and it's wanting to run the zapper so I'll run that. That's complete and then it's also wanting to run the second zapper so I'll click yes and that's complete. So at this point now you can see that there's uh, some rising sun icons on the desktop. Uh, it's extremely important that you do not run the game from here yet. We have to make a couple of adjustments uh, inside the main game folder so I'm going to go into there. And here's our PTO Rising Sun folder. So we'll go into there and I'll just rearrange this. So the first thing we can do in here is we'll run our config uh, just to have it detect our video card. And I'm just going to set my screen resolution here. Make things look a little bit better. And file exit. Now at this point uh, we can run the game for the first time but it has to be from the CFS3 icon within the main game folder not the one on the desktop so we'll do that first.
Okay, so there's one last thing we have to do before we can start the game up for the first time. We have to go to the theater selector and um, just make a quick adjustment in there. Uh, so I'm going to right mouse click on the start icon for Rising Sun. We'll go to Properties, Find Target, and you'll see here that the uh, theater selector is highlighted. So I'm just going to right mouse click on it, go to Edit. We'll scroll down a little bit and you'll see here that there's a statement uh, that it's going to be run and within the statement it says administrator so when this was set up um, it was set up on an administrator account now if you're running your PC in the administrator account you wouldn't have to do anything here however not so many people do that and uh, you have your own account for that uh, in my case I'm running mine under TDUB so I'm going to show you how you can check where yours is so we'll click on my computer local disk C and you just want to go to tools folder options view and go down and make sure that show hidden files and folders is checked and mine is so then we go to documents and settings and here you see old tdub here so I'm going to open that up and now we can see the app data folder we'll open that Microsoft and then here's our uh, rising sun and we'll click there so now you can see that we have a path which is um, very similar to the one here. However, mine says TDUB and this one says Administrator, so we're going to change that. So in this case here, I'll just click here. And we'll just go through and do each one of these. There will be seven on one for each theater. Gotta make sure you get every one of those correct. I just made a little boo boo there, so I fixed it. And that's the work. So we just double check each one of them says T dub. And we can go file, save, and close. And we'll close everything out and go back to desktop. Okay, so then we have. Uh, just another step here that we're going to do, uh, which is the useful installer. And we'll open that up. And next. And here we see the, that same statement we were looking at before in the theater selector. It says administrator. So in my case, my login name is TDUB. So we're going to back that out. And I'm going to put in TDUB. In your case, you would put in whatever name uh, your login account is, obviously. Um, you're not going to have TDUB as a login account. So whatever your name is uh, on your account, then that's what you would enter here. So now I'm going to click Next and Start. And it's been successfully run. Okay, so at this point now we can uh, run the game from the first time from the actual Rising Sun Start icon on the desktop. I'm going to do that and you're presented with the seven theaters. Uh, it's the same ones we were looking at in the theater selector where we made the uh, adjustments. Um, I'm going to run this in theater one first. Alright, so I ran Theater 1, that seemed to work fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and just test uh, Theater 2, so I'll do the same thing. And you'll see here Pearl Harbor Attack. Uh, select number 2.
So I fired up uh, Theater 1 and 2. They seem to be functioning okay. I was able to spawn in all right. The splash screens are okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check the rest of my theaters, but they should be okay if, if 1 and 2 are functioning properly. The rest should be okay. There's just one last thing I want to show you here. I have not covered this one, which is a static mole fix install. Basically, there's a, a couple of airplanes, I believe, that when you're on the runway or at an airfield, they look like they're half out of the ground. Uh, there's a fix for that. It's a little bit involved. Uh, you can find the instructions for it uh, in the uh, zip one in the documentations, and you see me here. There's a readme for uh, the mole fix here. It explains what you need to do for that. There's a few steps and it takes a few minutes, so I'm not going to cover that here. You guys can figure that out, I'm sure. Uh, one thing that uh, I want to make sure you at least are aware of, in the installation folder at the bottom, you'll see there's a recommendation for backing up uh, these folders and files. It's so that you can do a quick restore of the game if something gets corrupt. It certainly saves you a ton of time. They're suggesting that you do it. I do it myself, so you know you might as well do it yourself too. It doesn't take too long to do. It saves you a ton of time. So that basically uh, covers the PTO Rising Sun install on Windows 32-bit operating system on a uh, sorry a default install. I hope this works out for you, and I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Thanks.